Here are some last minute tips on how to revise for A-level physics. The first one is incredibly important, but never leave a question because it's too difficult. You might be solving a past paper and come across a four or five marker that you think seem impossible. You might be tempted just to not even try it, but believe me, you are capable of getting the correct answer. You can revise that specific topic. You can analyze the mark scheme. You can ask a friend or a teacher on how to tackle that particular problem. Every single student and teacher to find some questions particularly difficult and that's totally okay and to be expected. Most people would solve a past paper and then just leave it. In the last couple of weeks before the exams, what you really want to do is revisit all the past papers that you've solved before. Tackle those questions that you did not get correct and see if you can now get the correct answers. Make note of any particular problem solving approaches. And also pay particular attention to any specific wordings as if a similar question is to come up up, you'll be ready to tackle it. If you do need to revise some topics, remember that I have an entire playlist covering the whole of A-level physics that I'm going to link in the description. If you do need some extra help, I'll be running live revision sessions right before each paper. I'll be answering any single question that you have to leave you as prepared as possible for the top grades. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure that you schedule all your revision days. Even if your schedule does change a little bit, at least you will know that you'll be waking up and you will have a plan on what topic to revise, which subject or which paper to tackle. Anytime that you're doing past papers or revision, please do me a favor, take your phone and just put it into airplane mode. This single little tactic may save you a ton of time for revision and may drastically increase your grade. The next one is really important about confidence, but have a list of tasks after which you will essentially be ready for each paper. For instance, this could involve going through all the past paper ones. It could involve going through all the topics, making a list of all the common mistakes. After you've completed that list, you will feel so much ready and aim to complete that list about a day or two before the exam. With this approach, your last couple of days before the exam will be far less stressful because you will be prepared and you will walk into that exam hall with a lot of confidence. Probably the most important thing is to know that the next few weeks will be really stressful. Take care of your mental health and remember that you are far more than a percentage grade. You got this. Once you have solved the past paper, analyze the examiner's report. They may give you different approaches or they may actually tell you what they were looking for when they were writing the question, what skills they were trying to test. It will also say which topics did students find really, really difficult. And those are the topics that if you get right, you will be ahead. If you'd like to save a little bit of time, I send daily emails in my free physics newsletter that you can sign up to, to receive email tips completely for free. I'll also leave a link in the description. Sometimes having a list of common mistakes also really works for me as well. One thing that you can do is go through the specification and list some of the really common misconceptions or common pitfalls. A lot of the mistakes in A-level physics are actually very easily preventable. And that includes probably the most common mistake in A-level physics, which is to forget to carry through a square in something like Newton's law of gravitation or Coulomb's law. Work on your exam technique continuously. Just like an athlete trying to perfect their technique every time they practice, you can take a very, very similar approach to try and improve every aspect of the way you take exams. For instance, you could work on the timing. You can work on your multiple choice skills, having a really good layout in the way you're structuring show questions. This is such a crucial part of being successful in exams. And I've actually made a whole separate video for it that you absolutely must watch. Have a look right over here.